today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do I don't believe that anybody Now you're not a problem for the bitch ain't one If you have a girl problem, I feel bad for you son I got 99 problems but a bitch ain't one Hit me! Aya! Welcome! Got three records to show you today. All of them singles. There's two 12 inch singles and one 7 inch here. And this was a real impulsive purchase. And the price I was a little bit unhappy with. Although I have managed to split the cost via PayPal paying three. So that always takes the sting out of it. I got an email from a mailing list that I'm on from the Oasis online store. Oasis, for those who don't know, and uh, there can't be that many of you, were of course one of the biggest bands of the 90s and most of the noughties. I've been on their mailing list for quite some time over something that I bought on their web store ages ago. They sent an email saying they were having like a bit of a clearance. It wasn't the sale, I don't think, particularly, but it was some stuff. A couple of things, I think, had never been sold on their own on the site before, and um, they were just getting rid of excess stock and they were saying look we've got very limited quantities which is fatal saying that to me because I was thinking oh god I must rush and buy something I don't want to miss out but they said they had limited quantities of this stock two 12 inch singles 20 pound each that's a lot for 12 inch singles one seven inch single in here for 12 pound now then, although it's a lot, it's more than what I would pay certainly for singles, some albums I don't particularly like paying more than about £15-20 for, but when I looked at the Oasis releases on the Discogs database, these particular items, either the originals or the reissues, were way, way more to buy second hand. So, in a way, I've kind of got some bargains. Right, let me show you. This stuff will be pretty well known to a lot of people. This isn't like an obscure artist, it's Oasis, it's Liam and Noel. Of course they had sort of different band members throughout the years, people who came and went. The Gallagher Brothers is who we know best. This is one of these mailers that has got some parcel tape, some fragile tape if you will, round it. Aha, here we are. Try not to drop anything. Hopefully everything's included as it should be. We've got an invoice there that um, gives my total at £59.01. I'll do this in chronological order. I do know, obviously, what order these records come in. So I'll show you what would have been originally anyway, although at least a couple of these are reissues in more recent years. So first we've got 12-inch single, Oasis, Whatever. So this came out in 1994 originally. It wasn't on an album. I don't think it was even included on an album until many years later. And it was on one of Oasis's compilations. I think the most recent compilation was that Stop the Clocks or the other one. No, Time Flies, I think, is the more recent one. So four track, 12 inch single here. I did used to have this on CD single, and obviously I've got this track on uh, the Time Flies album as well. This edition is obviously a reissue because it's released on Big Brother Records, Oasis' own record label, rather than Creation Records that it came out originally. From what I could understand, this on Oasis' website was like a web exclusive originally with a repressing of, I think it would have been Morning Glory rather than Definitely Maybe. This came out sort of in between those two albums back in the mid-90s. So track one is whatever, great song, brilliant single, one of my favourite Oasis singles, particularly that period. Sorry, this is actually a three track single, not a four tracker. It looked like it was four tracks, but it's not. Track two, which is on side B, is it's good to be free. I have heard that before because like I said, I did used to have this on CD. And track two on side B is Slide Away, which I think was also an album track on Definitely Maybe. So, uh, more of a collector's piece, really, this. I've not got any Oasis singles in my collection until today, currently. I mean, I had many of the singles back in the day, but they would have all been sold. Not really an awful lot to see here. Just, it's a plain inner sleeve, and it's going to be a black record. But, um, I thought that was a nice thing. £20, yeah, it's a lot, but 
this hasn't actually been for sale on its own up until now and they're just shifting out whatever stock they've got left I didn't really want to miss out and I did check the Oasis web store again it was like that evening and I think a couple of the things that I'd bought had sold out one of them hadn't but a couple of them had so I am glad now that I jumped on it as early as I did even though it pained me to kind of pay over £50 for three singles so that was whatever the next 12 inch single from oasis that i got same sort of deal here reissue to coincide with the reissue of what's the story morning glory and originally this was bundled with that you couldn't buy it on its own until now but this is some might say which was the lead single from what's the story morning glory oasis's second studio album and this was also their first number one yeah, I'm sure it, it, it must have been yeah their first number one single as well there again used to have this on CD obviously I've got this track at least a couple of times probably no more than a couple of times a few times on various Oasis albums I've got Morning Glory the album on mini disc and uh, I believe it's on at least a couple of their greatest hits compilations um, this is one of my favourite Oasis sleeves, if only for the simple reason this photo here is taken not too far from where I live. Somewhere I used to visit quite a lot as a kid with my parents and my brother near Matlock in Derbyshire. Uh, that's where this photo here was shot. Is that either Liam or Noel with the watering can there? Might be. And of course they've just got some just random people. Oh, there's someone waving up there as well. Looks like he's got like an Eggman type thing on. But anyway, enough about the sleeve, although uh, the back of it looks quite nice as well. Uh, track one, some might say, everyone knows that. There again, it's another three track 12 inch single and the two tracks on side B. Talk Tonight, beautiful B side that. Oasis are really churning out some excellent B sides by this point and Talk Tonight's no exception. And one of my all time favorite Oasis songs is track two on side B here, Acquiesce. That for me, I don't know why that was never a single on an album to begin with really. Um, I think it did get released as a single in Japan at least around this point and uh, maybe got a release elsewhere a bit later on. But um, as far as the UK is concerned, I don't know why Acquiesce wasn't released as a single of its own standing because it's just one of Oasis' best ever. There you can see again, it's not a creation release because this was a modern reissue, a repressing. This is on Big Brother. So there we are, some might say. And the third and final Oasis single, this was one on 7 inch that just caught my eye. £12 I think this was, which is a lot really. But there again, I kind of had that fear of missing out, really. And it's more of a later Oasis period. This would have been from their fourth album, Heathen Chemistry, which was 2002, I think. And this is another one of my favourites, really. I've looked out, really, that I've got a good selection of Oasis's best singles here. Stop Crying Your Heart Out. So this is just a two-track standard 45 RPM 7-inch single here. Um, I think this is probably an original release. I mean, it's in very nice condition. I don't think this was reissued in more recent years, from what I could tell when I was looking on the Discogs database. They've just had this in stock. They sent the email out saying we've got a bit of vinyl to clear here. Hasn't got an inner sleeve, but that's fine. Got quite a nice centre label there. Didn't really like this Oasis logo that they were using for a few years. They did go back to the old what I would call the original logo that you see there look I never liked this one as much but yeah nice a great song like a ballad stop crying your heart out uh, the b-side on here is thank you for the good times I never had this I'd stopped collecting Oasis and I'd stopped collecting a lot of CDs at this point 2002 so I don't think I've ever had this single but no I haven't on CD or anything so um, unless Thank You For The Good Times has shown up as a track on a compilation somewhere, I'm not sure I've ever heard that, so I'll be interested to listen to that B-side later. But there we are, that's just a video showing you three impulsive, but I'm really pleased with them actually, Oasis vinyl single purchases from their web store. Would I like more Oasis singles? In an ideal world, yes. Now that I've got three of them, I'd like to get more. But, and I was looking at the prices on the marketplace when I was looking up stuff on the Discogs database, 
and whether it's originals or well there hasn't been many reissued singles in vinyl format really just the uh, couple of 12 inches i've got and there might be the odd one or two elsewhere as well but um the prices on the aftermarket are just ridiculous you know you think paying 20 quid for a single is bad enough but look at some of the prices for copies that aren't even in mint or unplayed condition on discogs and it's just silly so whether i'll get any more oasis singles i'll keep having a look now and again maybe i'll get lucky but um if these are the only three oasis singles that i've got and like i said i've got all their albums on either mini disc or compact disc then uh, this will be perfectly fine. Just nice collector's things more than anything for a band that I've been a fan of since I was a teenager. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look at a few vinyl record additions to the collection. And special thanks go, as always, to my subscribers and my beautiful patrons. Please have a look at all my affiliate links down in the description text box. There is, of course, a link with a code Jimmy Barnes for 20% off a monthly mystery vinyl album mystery box. I've said mystery a couple of times there. A subscription box, that was the word I was looking for. So check that out if you'd like to get three albums every month catered to your own personal tastes, but that are a mystery, and you can get 20% off for the life of your subscription with the code Jimmy Barnes at checkout from theretro.co.uk forward slash vinyl it's all down there along with my patreon link and uh, all sorts of stuff i'm gonna go now and well gotta be listening to some oasis aren't i won't take long to listen to two three track 12 inch singles and one two track seven inch single but i'm looking forward to it anyway and i do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next record collecting video cheers everyone See ya!